Hello, Jim Freedom, resident of Earth. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Oh boy, here comes that annoying Freedom guy. It's coming up here to, you know, I'm the guy that thinks the Constitution trumps your meeting rules. How silly of me, I know. Uh, I don't actually believe that, though. I, I'm, I'm more aligned with Lysander Spooner, who pointed out that the Constitution has either authorized such a government as we've had, or it's been powerless to prevent it. Either way, it's unfit to exist. We need something new. Uh, I do what I do just to prove that the supreme law of the land is a stupid joke and none of you follow its rules. We'll never be able to fix the problems in our society when our representatives don't play by the rules that we all thought were in place. Uh, to the people watching online or later, your anger is righteous and justified. The servants have written their own new rules that contradict freedom and use their army of order-following cowards with badges to punish enough of us effectively, making us their servants. Uh, don't you dare walk across that street in a place we don't like. Don't you dare make certain noises with your mouth that we don't like. Don't you dare try to record public court proceedings. Don't you dare grow a food garden in your own front yard. Don't you dare assemble a protest in a way or place we don't like. Don't you dare travel in a vehicle without using a seatbelt. Don't you dare sell tamales without paying for our permission first. You see where I'm going with this? These are all violations of freedom that you all just think are normal and they're unacceptable. To a society that thinks that these threats are acceptable, that's a profoundly sick society.